Hello and welcome. With Christmas just around the corner, I thought I'd share with you a couple of Swiss Christmas traditions that you may find interesting. As you probably already know, the character of Santa Claus, with his red outfit, round belly, kind look and distinctive hat, is actually based on a true historic figure, that of Saint Nicholas, a 4th century Greek bishop with a reputation for secret gift giving, like leaving coins in the shoes of those who left them out for him. Although in most countries St. Nicholas evolved into the Santa Claus we all know, the jolly old man on the Coca-Cola trucks, who comes on the night of Christmas to deliver gifts, flying on his sleigh trained by the magical reindeers, in several European countries the version of Santa is much more similar to that of the actual St. Nicholas. For example, instead of sleigh and reindeers, in the Netherlands, Sinterklaas arrives on a large white horse, while in France, Belgium, Luxembourg and Switzerland as well, he is depicted riding a donkey with baskets full of treats and gifts. In Switzerland, there are precisely 8,356 donkeys registered to help Santa. Another difference is the name. Switzerland has four official languages. German, French, Italian and Romansh. The last two are spoken by less than 10% of the population, while German is the principal language spoken by 64% of Swiss. Though actual German is almost never used verbally, as 60% of the population speak Swiss German, which isn't an official language, more like a dialect. But it's different enough that Germans, especially those living in the north of Germany, sometimes cannot even understand it. Why am I telling you this? Simply to explain that while Santa in Germany is called Weihnachtsmann, which literally translates to Christmas man, in Switzerland the Swiss German name for him is Samichlaus, much closer to the name of the real Santa, Saint Nicholas. Often his look is also much more that of a bishop, with the classic pointy hat adorned with the cross, the staff and a red long robe and cape instead of the well-known Santa Claus outfit, and sometimes it's a mix of the two. Sami Klaus also has his very own helper, and here is where the tradition gets a bit darker. Sami Klaus' assistant, which is far less joyful and kid-friendly than Santa's elves with pointy shoes, is named Schmutzli. You probably have heard about the Krampus, a horned demon-like creature that punishes bad kids, and although he is often said to be part of the Swiss folklore as well, this information is incorrect. Schmutzli is sort of Santa's alter ego, he also wears a robe and cape, but it's brown or black. His beard isn't candied white, but dark grey or black, and his face is covered in soot or coal. He's also completely human, but not kinder or merciful towards bad kids. Although some schmutzli appear more like big sweet teddy bears, most of them are definitely creepy. One or two schmutzli are always with Sami Klaus and the donkey when meeting the kids at their house or in various places in all the cities. Yes, in Switzerland, as in several other European countries, Santa doesn't come down the chimney on Christmas night trying to not be seen, but actually makes his appearance on December 6th, which is the date Saint Nicholas died. You're probably wondering who brings present on Christmas then? According to some traditions, it's baby Jesus, in others the wise man, in others it's still Santa, since on December 6th, Sami Klaus doesn't bring gifts, but gives out small bags containing assorted treats, tangerines, peanuts and gingerbread. These bags may also contain chocolate, candies, lollipops and even little toys. Sami Klaus, Schmutzli and the loyal donkey make a public appearance in the town center, in the malls, ice skating rings, 
or parade along the main roads, followed by a marching band or carolers. But they will also visit children at their home, under the parents' request. In Zurich, Switzerland's largest city, over 1,000 kids get a visit from a total of 30 Sami Klaus and about 50 Schmutzli. Prior to their coming, the parents will also provide Santa with a report of the children's behavior. So when the group arrives knocking at the door, Sami Klaus opens his big book where all the good and bad deeds are written down in front of the children. And if a kid has been naughty, Schmutzli grabs his bow of birch and bag and tells the kid he's gonna beat him with the birch and then put him in the bag and carry him into the woods where he'll have to cut wood up to one ear. This is of course just an empty threat, but a very efficient one as the frightened kids promise to change their behavior and they get the bag of goodies. The simple sight of Schmutzli is enough to worry children as you can see in this picture featuring a three-year-old me, although, to be fair, I was very, very shy and was actually afraid of both of them, as of any stranger in general. In the last ten years, however, as time changed, this tradition changed as well. Threats of violence, kidnapping and forced labor aren't socially acceptable anymore, and when Schmutzli shows his bow of birch, the kids are asked what they think he'll do with it. And when they answer, beat us, Sami Klaus and Schmutzli reassure them that they only use it to brush off the snow from each other's cape. And all that is transported in Schmutzli's bag is the classic call for naughty kids. If you'd like to know some more details and additional information, there's a video where several Schmutzli are interviewed you can see a bit of Swiss Christmas traditions, including marching bands, and hear Swiss German for yourself. Don't worry though, the video is in English. I hope you enjoyed learning something new and peculiar about my country, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up, a comment, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And I wish all of you a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Yuletai Tidings, and generally Happy Holidays. As always, remember that it's in the dustiest books that you may find the best stories.